How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I want to show you guys a couple of simple ways, of course, to use your VPN on your PS4 and PS5. So before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of the VPNs mentioned today, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs. Now, there are two ways to, I think, two really effective ways of uh, connecting your PS4 to the VPN. Now, unfortunately, the PS4 and 5, uh, you won't really be finding any native uh, VPN applications, unfortunately, on the PlayStation Store. However, what you can do is, well, I think the best way to connect your PlayStation 4 and 5, well, the most reliable way really, is by using a router. So I think ExpressVPN has the best router app in the industry. It's super easy to use, requires little to no configuration, and you can get it to work in little to no time, really. And uh, with regards to how to set it up, it's very simple. Uh, you'll find the guide on the router right here. So ExpressVPN on your router. If you just uh, you visit their website, you'll be able to uh, see this little guide here and uh, they'll tell you exactly how you can uh, set it up. So that's one option, but unfortunately, you're gonna need a compatible router. And this is when you know most people might not be willing to buy a compatible router. Uh, so in this case, what you can do is, of course, first of all, install the VPN software on your device. So whichever VPN you're using, I recommend three these three VPNs, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark, especially when it comes to gaming. The ping you'll be getting off of ExpressVPN will be uh, the closest to your native ping, uh, followed up by Nord and Surfshark. So I would say ExpressVPN will increase your ping uh, by about one or perhaps two milliseconds. Uh, sometimes it'll give you even the same uh, if it's a good server it'll give you the same uh, as your native ping nordvpn will increase your ping by about three to five sometimes six uh, milliseconds and surfshark will increase your ping uh, between five and 15 depending on how far you are from the game server and the vpn server so overall these are great vpns for low ping gaming so first of all you have to of course install once you've uh, subscribed to your uh, vpn service uh, you're going to install the vpn software on your pc and connect to it you have to plug one end of the Ethernet cable into the back of your PC and the other end into your PS4 or PS5. So this is how you're going to uh, share your PC connection with your PS5 or 4. Next up, you're going to want to go to the control panel and uh, head to uh, network and internet. Then you're going to click on your network and sharing center and then change your adapter settings right here. Of course, you want to be connected to your VPN. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my VPN and uh, you'll notice that one of these. So where is it? Let's just go ahead and refresh. So this is it, the Express VPN driver right here. You're going to look for your VPN driver and you're going to click properties, open the sharing tab, allow other network users to connect through this computer's uh, internet connection. And then you're going to select your internet. So whatever is feeding your uh, internet here, your connection. Uh, in my case, that'll be Ethernet right here, Studio. So I'm just going to have to select that Ethernet. Which one was it actually? Eth just Ethernet, no numbers. So right here and click OK. So once you click OK on your PS4, go to settings, network settings, set up internet connection as if you're setting up your connection for the first time. Uh, pick use a LAN cable and select the easy connection method. Uh, on PS5, go to settings, network, set up internet connection, and this will automatically scan and set up your ethernet connection. Make sure to select do not use a proxy server when prompted, and then you can test your internet connection if you would like. If all has gone well, your console should now be connected to the internet via a VPN. Now, I've heard some reports that some PCs are just uh, not working. You 
just can't use this method uh, for a variety of complications. Uh, and I'm honestly not exactly sure why this happens with some PCs, but it seems to be uh, rare. So if that happens, let us know in the comments below and we'll try to uh, kind of investigate and see what happens. Just tell us exactly what's happening in your connection and we'll try to uh, uh, fix that. So besides that, if you guys are interested in learning more about these VPNs before you make the subscription, you'll find reviews down below and you'll also find links to special deals and discounts if you'd like to take advantage of the discounts while they last. And keep in mind, all these VPNs do have a 30 day money back guarantee and a 24 seven live chat support, which you can access by going to their uh, websites. Just hover over the bottom right and you'll get access to the live chat support and you can ask them for the refund or whatever question uh, you might have. Uh, besides that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.